What's up cigar lovers? Wanted to do a quick video just show you about my humidor, what I carry, and why. I've got an old dry utility box, utility dry box. I like it on the top. This is not protected, it's not dry. I've got my little torch with punch cutter on it. A couple other little things in here, a bunch of cigar bands from cigars that I smoked on and off occasionally. Inside, and this is the area that stays dry. This is what you want to look for in a humidor. If you're building your own or if you're using something that's not a humidor, is this right here. It's a little rubber seal to protect environmentally what's inside your box. I have a hygrometer that does not work. Movita packs, these things are excellent for any humidor. And of course in here I keep all my cigars. I've got the Bovita pack that I'm currently using is a 69% down in there with my cigars and a couple in the bag that I am reviving. So what cigars are in my humidor right now? Not very many, I can tell you that. I have my travel humidor in here with a Maduro Perdomo Lot 23, great cigar. I'll keep a small Bovita pack inside there if I'm going to be out for a couple days. I have a couple of the Sarsaparillas from the Cigar Dojo. One diesel one cut. My father's Le Bijou 1922. I've had this cigar aging for about a year now, a little over a year actually. 2015, 2016 I believe it was, 2014 or 2015 cigar of the, cigar of the year, very highly rated cigar. Okay. Another of my father's, The Judge, I just picked this up a couple days ago. Here the Kentucky Fire Cured, I've got a Kyoto which is the smaller longer one here. This is a 5.5 inch 34 ring gauge. And the chunky, the four inch, 46 ring gauge. Another from the Drew Estate line is the uh, Muat brand subculture. My Uzi weighs a ton. This is the Nightcrawler, four and a half inch, 50 ring gauge. These are not your standard sizes. Some fun names on them too. A Maduro Cuban Rejects, about a 45 ring gauge. And the big boy here, the Alec Bradley Texas Lancero. This is about a 76 ring gauge, I believe. It's a big mother. Haven't smoked this one. I haven't smoked one of these yet. Obviously, I haven't smoked this one. Give it a try here pretty soon. Couple other things in here. I've just got some strips of cedar. Gives a little bit of flavor to my box. A couple business cards from cigar shops I've been to and such. Emergency matches. And that's what I keep my cigars in. I've been wanting to build a wooden container to separate these a little bit better, but I haven't ever gotten around to that. Um, so far, just throwing them in here. Uh, as long as you're not throwing the box around, you're doing pretty good and you're not going to have any damage from cigars. If you uh, want to build something like this, I've seen people use small coolers, I've seen people use large coolers, I've seen people use if you're going to build your own cigar boxes, box, you want to make sure you've got a seal like this to hold the moist air in or out depending on the environment and make sure you're keeping it somewhere where the temperature is somewhat level, steady. Um, outside in Texas is not a great place. One last thing I wanted to add that is in my humidor is my nub tool. This is nothing special. This is a corn on the cob holder that I have Required somewhere. I use it as a nub tool just like that, just like any nub tool. It works the same principle. Stick it in the end of the cigar, enjoy those last couple puffs.